Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of perimeter. This is standard 3.7b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 24 of the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So this is probably one of the most difficult problems on the 2021 released star test. Let's take a look at why. We have a rectangular floor here and the perimeter is 46 feet. So that's one piece of information that we have. 46 feet is the entire perimeter. And then we've got the width shown right here as 10 feet. That's it. That's all they're going to give us, the perimeter and the width. And they want to know what is the length. Well, first off, we don't even have the length labeled. So we need to know what the length is. So when we're talking about the length, we're usually you hear like length times width or length plus width. Like length times width is going to be your uh, area. So length is going to be across. Width is what they've already given us. That's up and down, right? So we're looking for this measurement right here but how in the world are we supposed to figure out what that measurement is there's no ruler we're not supposed to measure anything because obviously this isn't 10 feet so and there's no a b c or d to choose from right there's no multiple choice that's why this is so difficult so let's figure out what we know about perimeter we know several things uh, i will show you how you can uh, use the formula to figure it out but it involves some stuff that you're really going to learn more in fifth and sixth grade so it's not super helpful to me, I think the easiest way to do this is just to use a little bit of problem solving. So if we know that this width right here is 10 feet, then guess what? We also know that this width over here on the left side is also 10 feet. So now we have two measurements, right? So we've got 10 feet on the left, we've got 10 feet on the right, and now we've got two measurements. So what we need is the top and the bottom. Well, let's figure out how much that is so far. So I've got my 10 and my 10. So my two widths, that's going to get me 20 feet. All right, so that makes sense. So those two right there are 20 feet. How many feet do I actually have left? All right, remember, the whole thing is 46. So if I've got 46 feet, and I've already used 20 of them on the widths, then I've got 26 feet left. And I will tell you, this is probably the most chosen or the most bubbled, excuse me, incorrect answer because the answer is not 26 feet. That's where the confusion comes in. You've done this far, you've doubled your 10, you got a 20, you subtracted that from 46. The answer is not 26. Let's talk about why it's not 26. Remember how we got this 20. This 20 was when I added both widths. So this 26 right here is both lengths, right? That's 26. And that makes sense, right? I've got two widths make 20, two lengths make 26, 20 and 26, right? That's going to make my 46. That's good. But remember that this 26, this 26 is two lengths, right? It's the top plus the bottom. It's both of them. Well, how much goes on the top? How much goes on the bottom? Well, just like the two widths were evenly split, 10 and 10, my two lengths are evenly split. I've got to take my 26. I've got to cut it in half. Got to do a little bit of long division there. I'll get 13. And that is my answer. So, I have my 13 and my 13, my 10 and my 10. If I add those up, guess what I'm going to get? I'm going to get my 46. The actual formula says 2 times the length, right? Perimeter equals 2 times the length plus 2 times W. So you could substitute, right? You could say 46 equals 2L plus 2 times the W, which is 10, and solve for L. That's like a sixth grade skill. So that's how we're going to solve it here. My answer is 13.